In this video, I'm going to describe the relationship between the discriminant of the quadratic formula to the number of x-intercepts that a quadratic function will have. So if you're given a regular quadratic function, let's say f of x equal ax squared plus bx plus c. Remember that is the, the standard form or the general form of a quadratic function. And we use this, if this whole thing was equal to zero, then we were able to use the quadratic equation to plug our a, b, and c values into the, uh, excuse me, quadratic formula, plug those values in there, <clears throat> and simplify it to get our solutions for when this function equals zero. If you think about that, when our function is equal to zero is when our output is zero. And in this case, it's telling us whenever our function is equal to zero, that that point is going to be an x-intercept because our output is zero. When we did the discriminant, and let's recall what the discriminant is, it's b squared minus 4ac. That was the part of the quadratic formula that was under the square root. If it was greater than zero, there were two real roots. And in this case, if it's greater than zero, then we will have two x-intercepts. We'll have two x-intercepts for our quadratic function. And the reason why is because if we have two real solutions for when our function is equal to zero, then we're going to have real points. We're going to have a number for x that allows us to get zero. So we will have two different solutions, two different points that will satisfy that equation that we can graph on the real number system or the real you know, rectangular coordinate system. When b squared or our discriminant for ac is less than zero, then we're going to have no x intercepts. Because remember when we had that equal, or excuse me, less than zero. I'm sorry, it looks a little sloppy there, but when it was less than zero, <clears throat> we had two complex solutions. And if we have a complex solution, then a complex number is going to satisfy the function equal to zero. So in this case, uh, we cannot, right now, with the regular rectangular coordinate system, graph complex numbers. And finally, when b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero, then we're going to have one x-intercept. And I'm going to abbreviate here, x-i-n-t. And this is because when you're adding in the quadratic formula, you're adding and subtracting the square root of zero, which means, you know, that opposite of b, if you're adding zero and subtracting zero, well, you're going to get the same answer. So depending on what the discriminant is of our quadratic function, that will tell us how many x-intercepts we will have. Now that we know the discriminant tells us how many x-intercepts a quadratic function will have, we want to use it to, uh, to answer some questions. So this question says to determine how many x-intercepts the function will have and then find them. So we write down the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac. We see that a is equal to 2, b is equal to 8, and c is equal to 8. So when I plug those into my discriminant, I get 8 squared minus 4 times 2 times 8, which is 64 minus 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 8 is 64. I get 0. So since this is equal to 0, the discriminant is equal to zero. That tells me that I'm going to have one x-intercept. If the discriminant here was, if it was positive, we would have two x-intercepts. And if it was negative, we would have no x-intercepts. Now let's find them. So, well, actually not find them, let's find it, because we only have one. So when I plug it into my Let's write out the quadratic formula. Um, here we could use the quadratic formula, or we could um, factor this, but we are going to 
use the quadratic formula here. So when I plug this in, I'll get the opposite of 8 plus or minus the square root of my discriminant, which I found to be 0, all over 2 times 2. So x is going to be equal to the opposite of 8 plus or minus the square root of 0, which is just 0, all over 2 times 2 is 4. That simplifies to negative 2. So that tells me when my function is equal to 0, the ordered pair here that I'm going to get is minus 2, 0. And this is my only, that's only x-intercept that I have. And actually, in this case, that x-intercept is also my vertex.